All right, so hi guys. So this is Jodo Service once again. Uh, if you are stumbling on my page for the very first time, do well to like, share, and of course subscribe so you get notified each time I get to post a video. All right, so it's always from one insightful uh, stuff to another. All right, so if, as you can see on this page, we have um, uh, your account futures are paused. Right, so they're saying that your account futures are paused. You can no longer do the following: send money, withdraw money, receive money, and a lot of all these things. And then they said, here is what you will need to do: log into your PayPal and update and upload your ID, your proof of address, your bank account statement, and your recent transaction information. All right. So this is one message that almost everybody who own a PayPal account do not want to see. This is one message that nobody wants to see. It's a very big heartbreaking message. Yes, it, it, it can shatter you, all right? Because most of the time, so many times, people already made plans for the money. They just want to withdraw their money and, uh, you know what, do what you want to do with it, only for you to wake up to this. All right, so I'm going to be making some little bit exposition about uh, uh, limitations or permanent ban. When it comes to permanent ban, uh, do not sweat it, okay? The first, the first mistake for any surveyor, the first mistake to make is to is to have attachment to your PayPal. That's the very first mistake. When you become too attached to your PayPal and you feel like uh, your whole survey journey revolve, revolve around your PayPal, when you become so attached, you become frustrated because do you know you can see this message anytime. That's one. You can see this message anytime. Then the second thing, learn to use gift cards to withdraw. Okay, learn to use gift cards because yes, the rates are lesser. Yes, it's not up to PayPal rates, but you have some level of peace of mind when you have a sure vendor who you can. Who can help you redeem your cards or you check out some of those and uh, apps out there there are lots of apps there on on uh, on play store you can redeem your gift card ask around ask people for some good quality ones who are legit okay so as long as you have a legit vendor right you are good to go to a certain extent all these issues you'll be able to bypass it but yes with lesser rates now so don't get to attach your paper because when you're operating on paper this is inevitable Yes, this is very, very inevitable. Now, without further ado, let me walk you guys through a few things. Now, when your PayPal is limited, right? What it simply means is when they ask you, each time your PayPal gets to ever ask you for this, your account features are paused. It means that something triggered something. PayPal will never send you this message if something has not been triggered on in your PayPal account or if your account has not fallen under a class of account that they need to review. There are a lot of times people don't even know that there's what we call account health. How healthy your account is, this platform, they monitor it. Like for example, for Stripe, for those people who have Stripe, Stripe will show you there's a part on your dashboard where you see your account health. Is your account healthy? Are you doing a lot of stuff that is risking your Stripe account? They'll show you from green, your account to be entering red. If a lot of people try to redeem bad cards on your Stripe account, your account health will start turning into red. In any moment from now, they will either limit it or ask you for a second level verification on your Stripe. So, Stripe will show you your account health physically, like you're saying it your dashboard, the health of your account. So, you be, so with that now, you can become very careful. But now, when it comes to PayPal, PayPal do not show your account health. But at the back end, there's a section that shows all your activities, the health status of your account, and and the danger associated with uh, your own account on this space it shows they see it at the back end so all of the all these things are programmed now there's a health level that your account will just enter and it's something that will trigger it it does not just happen like that there's a health le level that your account will enter and automatically they'll ask you for verification people can wake up and decide to update their terms and conditions they can upgrade one or two top stop in the algorithm in their programming and they'll say every account that i've ever had so 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 that I've made this before that i've done this before let them go for a verification like send them a message to verify so you that you're just using your paper generally generally you just wake up one morning and a lot of people just start saying messages verify 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 upload id upload ID. and you'll be like you'll be wondering i didn't send money i didn't withdraw i didn't do anything why is people now asking me for verification this is the reason why they have just updated something on their back end so all the accounts that that fall within the bracket of what they have updated. If your account have made an error within what they have updated, automatically all those accounts, they will just ask you guys for verification again. So that's why you see that sometimes people just wake up and then a, some group of people will just see that they are seeing verification and they can why some other group of people will not see verification. They say, ah, my account is okay. Sometimes it's because of some little updates they do and then 
voila, maybe your account will just fall victim for it. Okay, so a lot of all these things are done by AI. Okay, a lot of all these messages, automated messages are sent by AI. Even your verification, when you upload an ID to verify, it is also verified by AI. It is on some on occasional conditions. When you upload ID card, it is reviewed manually. And the verification is really not within a day. It takes some working days because of the number of customers they have. All right. So now when you see this, something like this, the truth is don't panic. It's not the end of the world. The only thing is you just tell yourself that, okay, if the account dies, I just move on to start withdrawing my monetary gift card. Nothing spoiled. Or check within your group. Do I have a vendor that I can be using this PayPal for the time being before I get another PayPal? Nothing spoiled. If you have money inside the PayPal that is in limited, this PayPal that is limited, if you have money inside, nothing spoiled. All you need to do is try to upload an ID card. If your account gets permanently limited, then once it gets permanently limited, you'll be, get, you'll be giving your money in 120 days time. So you just wait for 120 days. But there's a condition. Yes, there's a condition. Wait for 120 days. There's a condition. There's a condition. What is the condition? The condition that your account has not been endangered. There is no, Your account is not being watched. Your PayPal account is not being watched. You have never received... You have never received the money that is being flagged on your paper so you understand right so this is the condition by which you can get your money in 120 days that's why i advise a lot of people be careful who you collect paper to paper transaction from paper to paper be careful who you collect from i don't collect paper to paper transaction anymore because there are lots of people who their paper accounts are on watch list their paper account have collected fraudulent money so because of that, I stop. So if somebody has collected fraudulent money, even if it's a fraction of that fraudulent money was transferred to your own PayPal account, your PayPal account will, will enter watch list. Yes. When they start, when, when, when the person who first collected that money, if that money is being traced and, and uh, is being traced and uh, investigated, all the all fraction of that money that was transferred out will be traced down to all the people that received that money. And when they trace it, when they trace it to all the people that receive, they want to know your connection with the person who sent the money. So now, if your account has been permanently limited or it has been permanently banned and you are waiting for your 120 days, if there's a fraction of money that was sent to your PayPal that is being investigated, investigated, right? Trust me, if 120 days pass, now stories you go here, you will not get that money out. You learn our stories, you won't get that money out. So that's why I advise a lot of people be careful. Be careful who you collect PayPal to PayPal trans who you collect PayPal to PayPal transaction for. It's not everybody who gets to do just direct deals, good deals from their service site and all that. Not everybody. A lot of people just get money from whatever and then they come and then they compromise your innocent PayPal. Sometimes you might just wake up and you see that your PayPal is limited, they're asking you for ID card. And you don't even know why. Sometimes you might have even collected a PayPal to PayPal transaction from somebody. You might have collected a PayPal to PayPal transaction from somebody and a fraction of that money is fraudulent and PayPal is just trying to re ask you re verify your own account in the bid to even get to know you better and even to find out what is your relationship with that person who sent the money. And in most cases said they will even kill the account after you update an ID card. They just kill you know why? Because all of all these fintechs, all these fintechs app, all these apps, fintech that accept money and the rest of all these guys, they hate fraudulent fund. They hate money laundry cases. Anything that will just have to put them on that money laundry and fraud radar, they hate it. So if you just give them any vibe that you're doing something funny, your, your paper is gone. So you got to be careful. So how do we navigate? How do we navigate this whole issue with my PayPal is limited? Now, the first thing to do, right? Forget about whatever you see here. Forget about all this automated. I mean, some detail, provide, uh, upload a proof of ID, proof of address. Forget about all this. The first thing to do is to log into your PayPal. That's the first thing to do. Log into your PayPal. Then you will see actually what they're asking. Sometimes you can see all of all this. But when you log in, it may not be everything here they're asking. Sometimes it might be two or three out of it. Sometimes they might you might see all this, but they might ask you to upload only ID card. You know why? Because usually some of these messages are automated. They are just automated messages. So to really be sure what you need to upload, log into your paper. And then you see it. Now when you log into your paper, a lot of time people ask you ask, can I use my I'm not gonna call the name, but a lot of people understand. Can I use my disk to verify the paper when my disk is a disk paper? The, the bloody answer is yes. 
you can you know why we have got to realize that the verification is automated okay the verification is automated because it's automated what it required is just the the name that is on the id okay the name that is on the id that's what is uh, required maybe the name and the age so if the ai that does the verification is able to pick the name and the age this will pass i'm trying to be sensitive with my words i hope you understand i'm trying not to really come up like that yeah i hope you understand so okay so this will pass for it this will pass for it so try to get try to get this and try to get this and this is the last part i want to talk about now this verification is usually 50 50 okay this verification is usually 50 50. don't go and waste your money and pay anyone don't go and waste your money don't waste your money into paying anyone to help you verify your account because that person you are giving money to verify the first thing they tell you is 50 50. that's what they tell you the first thing they tell you is that and a 50 50 you agree this is what i'll charge you to do it for me when at the end of the day this is the exact thing they're doing you can as well just do it yourself <laughs> and then if it goes it goes if it survives voila glory be to god so they will now ask you they will list some transactions that they deem that maybe some transaction that that they want to really investigate they'll list them out that's under this transaction section in your paper they'll list them out for some people it might be two some it might be one so it might be three some it might be eight eight transactions they'll list them out and then they'll ask you to give details of that transaction this is what you put and they'll ask you for receipt sometimes they'll ask you for the receipt of the transaction yes like the receipt you should give a receipt of transaction do not panic when you reach that point when they say give receipt of transaction do not panic all right this is what you you select others just select no receipt just select others and if they ask you what is the reason give them a reason like this you say this payment was for a one-time digital consultation consultation service provided what remotely that's what you tell them this payment was for a one-time digital consultation service provided remotely which does we does not involve physical goods and service exchange that's what you tell them so don't provide any id card for don't provide any transaction receipts for your transactions just tell them it's a one-time digital consultation does not require id card upload it let it go the account survive good if it doesn't survive, fine, you move on, wait for 120 days. That is if your account is not being watched for something and you get your money back. Yes, I've seen situations where by 120 days passed, the people did not get it. Yes, I have seen. 120 days passed, they didn't get it. And I've also seen 120 days came, they got it. In one of my old paper in the past, yes, I've gotten it when it got to 120 days in the past. Some of my paper got to 120 days, so I was able to get it. So the first mistake to make is accepting paper to paper from anybody. You are endangering your account. You don't know where that money is coming from. You are quick to, your paper will be very quick to enter limitation. Alright, so what else again? What else again? Then do not, if your paper is a business paper, if your paper is a business paper, if somebody is a stranger, and says he wants to pay you via paper never accept never accept if somebody is, pay, is a stranger and said he wants to pay you for a service via paper and your own paper is a business paper never accept you know the reason why most of them will recall the money they'll recall the transaction back what do i mean by recall they'll go and tell people that you did not offer them the service they'll recall the money back and once they recall the money back once they recall the money back, you have lost. You know why? Because when people begin to ask for details of the transactions, the receipt and everything, you will not have it. You don't have it. So because you don't have it, you have lost the case. And in most times, if your account might even get affected. Most times, your account might even get affected. So that's that about that, guys. So I'll just stop here. I'll just do a recap when you see a limitation let me just do a quick, quick recap when you see a limitation on your paper like this do not panic okay don't panic just the first thing to do is log in upload anything that is being set to upload upload it if your account survive survive if it dies you move on that's all nothing like that don't get that entire uh, attachment because you become frustrated 
you move on learn to also use gift card no matter what even if the rate is small enjoy the small you have at hand okay so that's that about that guys so don't go and pay anyone don't go and pay anyone to help you remove limitation on paper don't pay anyone to help you remove limitation on paper because they are also gambling why give them pay them money to gamble when you can gamble it yourself why a lot of times some of them will tell you to a lot of times some of them will tell you to give them you have access to the paper and everything and then they tell you that ah, it don't work the account is gone and then you give up and forget about the paper they will go somewhere on their phone they will store they'll go somewhere on their phone they'll store the login they'll store the dates when the paper will be opened back they'll store it you you have completely forgotten about that paper you have given up they'll store the date when that date comes when that date comes, they'll just log into the paper. Paper will open it back. They'll log into the money and they'll withdraw everything out of the paper. So a lot of all those adverts you see on Facebook and they tell you, is your paper permanently limited? Blah, 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 blah. Bring it, blah, blah, blah. What they just do is they just keep record and then they wait for that day. That paper will open it by themselves and then they'll take the money out. Why can't you do it yourself? This is something you can do yourself. So people just people just capitalize on people's ignorance, and then they make lots of akbala akbala from people's ignorance. But I hope you're not ignorant today, and I pray for you that the God of insight, the God of wisdom, would come upon you, and you will know things that only the gods are allowed to know. That your mind will be flooded with light, and you'll be incited to know what to do at every point in time. Do you know? Let me share something with you guys. The best thing that can have happen to anybody, right, is to be directed by God, is to be directed by God, is for God to give you wisdom. Do you know when God gives you wisdom, do you know what happens to you? When God gives you wisdom, you'll be able to navigate, navigate every season of your life. You'll be able to navigate every season of your life. There are some seasons of your life that is not even a job you need. Yes, for some people, yes, the season of their life is not a job they need. For some people, the season of their life is just wisdom, an idea for something, and they'll be good. And they'll be good. For some people, it's not even, what they just need a period of their life is just a small job. It's just a small job to just move their life forward. Maybe your destiny and what God has in store for you is in the next two years. So all you just need is a small job to just keep body and soul and build yourself till when that set time is come. And then you begin to manifest in fullness of what God has for you. So what am I trying to say? In all that you do, right? In all things, ask that the Lord will give you wisdom. Ask that God will give you, whoever you serve, that he will give you wisdom to navigate every area of your life. Because the truth is, I see a lot of ads when it comes to Facebook. And what these people are doing is, a lot of art when it comes to paper limitation, what these people do is, they just take advantage of a lot of people's ignorance. And that is all. If you just rush and go and give them login of your paper, they will now try, try, try. If it does not work, they'll try that more. This one don't go. But they will be waiting for that one 20 days. They have the login already. When people open it, now just message, you could just go see for your email. Peace and love, guys. I wish you all the best.